Now, if you're convicted of rioting, it's a misdemeanor. It can carry up to one year in county jail. And, and moreover, it looks really bad on your record because later on, if you apply for a job and they do a background check and they see, oh, well, this person was convicted of rioting, the employer is liable to wonder, is this person a troublemaker? Are they going to stir up trouble in my workplace? And it can make it very difficult to, to get a job later on. So to the extent that you've been arrested for rioting or charged with rioting, you want to do everything that you can to fight the case and keep it off your record. And we find that a lot of innocent people get arrested for rioting at these situations. Riots tend to be very chaotic, very fast-moving events. And amidst the chaos and confusion, police will often arrest many of the wrong people. It may be a situation where you were merely present at the event, but not in any way committing violence or, or threatening violence. It may be a situation where you were engaged in lawful and constitutionally protected protest. It may be a situation where you were acting in self-defense and, and the police used excessive force of violence against you. If you're in one of these situations, we invite you to contact us here at Shouse Law Group. We'll help you fight back and do everything possible to keep this off your record.